Hi everyone, Carmen Jessup here, your friendly neighborhood librarian, and today I'm here to talk to you about a great read, but also I feel like a very important one to read um, for middle schoolers in this day and age. Stay with me here. Um, it's Barbara D's. Maybe he just likes you. So let me just start with a little real talk. Um, back in the day when I was in middle school, I promise you there were no dinosaurs running around, but when I was in middle school, it was a thing where if a boy liked you, if you were a girl and a boy liked you, um, he would be mean to you or he might make fun of you or uh, pull your hair or just taunt you. Um, it was acceptable, I guess, to think, oh, okay, well, maybe he likes you if he, uh, you know, is, you know, you know, fill in the blank. I hope that makes sense. Sometimes that still happens today in middle schoolers or some of the middle schoolers that I've spoken to. But anyway, that is exactly what is happening here in this book. It's about seventh grader Mila Brennan and the, th the, the things that are happening to her by her friends, you know, boys that she has grown up with, um, you know, she's in seventh grade, she, the, the boys that she's known since elementary um, and has grown up with, you know, they're starting to act different towards her. Um, you know, doing little things like maybe sitting too close to her on the bus or, um, you know, she, she wears this like fuzzy sweater and, you know, asking, you know, they're asking to like come up, you know, they come up to her and ask to, if they, it's okay for them to touch her sweater or, um, asking for a hug. Um, all of these things are suddenly, you know, just making her uncomfortable and, you know, her friends, you know, think that she's overreacting or, you know, she's not getting, you know, she's not understanding that, you know, maybe he just likes you. Maybe he's just showing you that he likes you. And, um, you know, she's trying to make sense of it. And um, at a time when, you know, things just are starting not to make sense. She's not understanding, you know, what is real and what really is wrong, what, what's crossing the line. Um, so I know that sounds confusing, but I, I really suggest that you read this book. And um, it really had me thinking and it had me wondering, you know, um, you know, what, why is it that, you know, some people feel that it's okay for you to touch you when in certain ways that you don't want to be touched or, um, you know, and that it's okay, you know, to stand up for yourself when you feel that that's not right. Um, I couldn't put it down and I, and I feel like you won't either. You'll, you'll want to start the conversation and start thinking about these things, things too. Maybe I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. So check it out. Barbara D, maybe he just likes you. Find out what happens to Mila um, when she's, you know, you know, forced to think things through and trying to figure out things with her friends. And, and, uh, and she finds some help in some very unexpected places. Check it out.